decrease dramatically. Additionally, the right atmospheric conditions are crucial. A breathable atmosphere with the right balance of gases can mean the difference between a barren wasteland and a thriving ecosystem. Our search has yielded some promising candidates. Take Proxima Centauri b, for example. It's the closest exoplanet to us, only 4.2 light-years away, and it lies within its star's Goldilocks zone. Then there's TRAPPIST-1e, a rocky planet about the same size as Earth, also located in its star's habitable zone. It's a bit farther away, at 40 light-years, but it's still within our galactic neighborhood. But let's be clear, finding a planet that checks all these boxes, the right distance from its star, the presence of liquid water, and the right atmospheric conditions, does not guarantee we'll find life. However, it certainly offers a glimmer of hope. It amplifies our understanding of the universe and propels us further in our search for Earth 2.0. Finding a planet that checks all the boxes does not guarantee life, but it does offer a glimmer of hope. So what does this all mean for our quest to find life beyond Earth? We've come a long way in our understanding of the cosmos. The progress of space exploration has shifted from mere curiosity to a dedicated search for life beyond our own planet. We've discovered thousands of exoplanets, planets outside our solar system, some of which even meet the Goldilocks criteria for habitability. Not too hot, not too cold, but just right for life as we know it. Looking ahead, the future of space exploration is brimming with potential. Upcoming missions like the launch of the James Webb Space Telescope promise to further our understanding of these distant worlds. This telescope will not only help us study these exoplanets in greater detail, but also search for signs of life. As we continue our cosmic journey, remember, every star in the night sky is a sun, and around it might revolve a world full of life waiting to be discovered.